Okay. Okay, so like I said, I really love you all. <laughs> <laughs> the best students I've ever had. Or ever could hope to have. You'll ever have. Because <laughs> you're my last student, so I'll ever <laughs> um, So we're going to do the Yang Meridians of the arm. So we're going to start with a little uh, movement here. So one of the things about the arm is that you can do sustained traction. Right? You want to engage the fascia of the arm because fascia gets bound up a lot around the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders. Right? And you'll, they'll start to feel a slight fascial pulling. Let's check in with arm and ask. How is it, yeah. Do you feel a little fascial pulling in your arm? I feel a lot of fascial pulling. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fascial pulling in the arm. So, you know, when you change the viscosity or the thickness of the fascia, everything starts to move a little easier. The meridians are embedded in the fascia, right? So that's why they're affecting uh, the whole part of the body, because they're connected to the fascial web. So that's why the stretching is so important. It creates space in the joints, but also affects the fascia. Okay. So this does a lot of work for you. It makes everything more pliable and soft. Okay. Anything that stretches across like this. <laughs> Here, see how it stretches deltoids. So and back of the tri uh, triceps, that's where the um, meridian goes through. So it's across this way. When you bring across the body this way, you're stretching here, yes? So you're stretching the yang meridians of the arm. If you're doing compressions, you can do compressions different ways because it starts on the hand and ends on the face. So you can start compression like this, using the body. Very nice. Compress. Compress. And then they continue through here, right? Up onto the face, so you can compress. 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 And press. <laughs> Such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so tolerant. Yeah, it's lovely. So, and then you can do compressions like this. They start on the hand and end here. So, compress. Compress up the arm. Following the flow of the meridian. Compress. Let your body weight compress. Top of the shoulder, compress. Okay, so now it's loose. So now you can thump the meridian. So somebody read the uh, location of the large intestine meridian to me. Like a pathway? Please. Starting at the lower lateral corner of the nail of the index finger. Here, so try tracing it on yourself while we're talking. Keep you engaged. Okay. I'm following course of finger down next to thumb. Okay. With arm bent to a right angle at the elbow, follow upper edge of Okay, here. I want to stop you. I'm not trying to be rude, but here, look. So it starts here, goes here, and it goes right in between, the, into the webbing here. This is where the source point is, large intestine four. So if you take your <coughs> index finger and your thumb and you put them together at the top of the crease, if you press towards the finger, this is large intestine four. This is the source. This is the source point for the large intestine. So it works on the large intestine for physical elimination, but also mental stagnation. <coughs> large intestine is about elimination, but it's not just about the physical. It's also about the mental. So it helps clear your mind. You know, for all of you out there who like big dumps. Is there anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> there, that young lady there. Large intestine point. That's good. Is There's it, always one in the crowd. Is it, oh, is it associated with relieving headaches? Yeah, and migraines. Yeah. You know, one thing is because we'll see the meridian comes right through here. So it comes right to the head. 
you know, comes into the jaw. You know, so this is very good for headaches, but also I want it for mental stagnation. Feeling cloudy, you know, too much, too much. This is very good. Helps elimination. Okay, go ahead, please. And Trey Salon in the uh, studio audience, please. With arm bent to a right angle with the elbow, follow upper edge of radius to edge of the elbow crease. Okay, so look. Look at how nice. Source point follows the ridge of the radius, right? To the elbow crease. Here's elbow crease. So it goes in this little indentation here. Feel that little indentation there? That's a large intestine point. It's the, in between the edge of the crease and the elbow, there's a little indentation. The crooked pond. Yes, the crooked pond, it's called. Large intestine 11, perhaps? Yes. That's right, 11. <laughs> Plus it is. Of course. <laughs> okay, so, but dig this nice and straight, yeah? So then from here, please read. Continuing to the deltoid tuberosity. Oh. Just anterior of the acromion. Okay, so it goes up to the deltoid tuberosity, so we can palpate that. But then it goes in between the anterior and medial deltoid. So you can use these clear bony landmarks. So this is here, like this. Starts here, follows the finger. Here's the source point. Follows the radius to at between uh, the end of the uh, crease and the elbow. It goes up. There's a deltoid tuberosity. It goes in between the anterior and medial deltoid. So nice and clear. Use those bony landmarks. It just follows. Thumb, 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 thumb. Now you're here. So where do we go from here? So that would be just anterior of the acromion process. Uh, straight medial between clavicular and sternal head of the SCM. Okay, so it goes like this then, right? Evidently, there's SCM. Straight and needles. Uh, curving up to lateral corner of the nose. So it comes like this. Between the heads of the SCM, it comes up like this. Cross here, crosses the line below the nose, and it comes to the widest portion of the nostril on the opposite side. Which is called welcome fragrance. Oh, that's a spa. Yeah, yeah there's, it is. A, there's an indentation. It's a sinus clearing point, also. Elimination. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this now. Large intestine from here. Follow the here. Here's source point. Press right into the uh, ridge of the radius. And then it comes to the elbow crease, right between the end of the crease and the elbow tip. It comes straight up deltoid tuberosity in between the anterior and medial deltoid. From here, wow, that point really screwed my face. <laughs> uh, it goes in between the uh, anterior and medial heads of the SCM, which is here. And then it curves up, across the midline, below the nose, above the upper lip, and goes to the widest portion of the nostril on the other side. Okay. So that is small intestine, or large intestine, and that is large intestine, and that is large intestine. That's one of your intestines. Okay, everyone good on that? And that's partner to the lung. And that, and that is partner to the lung. And look where it's located. Here's large intestine, here's lung. Look, at they're on either side of one another, because the partners are always close together. How else can they do good business? They watch out for each other, you know? I like to think so. I like to keep it in the closet. Okay, large intestine. Okay, next one. Um, what about who's under two? Well, that's a, a little divided, uh, that a dotted. They, sometimes yeah, they split it. Yeah. It's not I mean, no, I mean, it probably does. There's sub-channels. This is the major flow, for sure. Because on that one, it goes like this, and then sort of like this, yeah. right? Some of them will show that it doesn't cross the midline. But what about this point? Uh, uh, they both cross. The right uh, there, they do, and that's a point on the governing vessel, which is part of the uh, central mm -hmm. channel. Okay, next one is um, triple warmer. So turn to triple warmer. Triple warmer. 
Uh, Paige, give a Paige shout out, please. Here's a manual. Would you like to use, you to use it, somebody? I want you to be looking 19, at this. 19. Page 19. I found it first. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Okay, here we go. Mom, we got expensive videotape here. We got we're, we got we're overhead. Time. Poor woman's only like 33 percent of power. <laughs> yes. Ah, thank you for asking. The triple warmer is not an organ, per se, but it is how Chinese medicine looks at the body. It divides it into three sections, and they are considered the three areas or three burners the lower burner, the middle burner, and the upper burner. And it has to do with all the organ functions in the body and the amount of energy or heat that's needed in those areas so the organs in those areas operate at their maximum capacity, at their clearest capacity. So in the upper burner, some of the organs there are lungs, heart, right? So it has to do more with um, like spreading like a fine mist and the middle portion is all the digestive organs. And then the lower portion is the elimination and sexual organs. So there's upper, middle, and lower, or the three heaters or three warmers, triple warmers. It's also a very integrating meridian. A lot of times we use this if a person, um, I used to work uh, with people who had, had injuries and they were trying to get back their coordination after strokes and things like that. So we would use this particular meridian because it knits the whole body together. It's very continuous because it deals with all the three sections of the body. So we use that for integrating. If someone is uh, being very clumsy or uncoordinated, it's a good meridian to help with that. Okay, so where does it, you mind reading again? Starting at the lower lateral So trace, please. Corner. Trace this on yourself. Lower lateral corner of the nail of the fourth finger. Okay, so going, here? Going between the fourth and fifth metacarpals. So to here? To the midpoint of wrist. Midway between the ulna and the radius. Okay, now hang on one second. There's a source point. Mm -hmm. And it just says go to the wrist. Yeah, that's above the wrist. Are we using a yang pond? Western uh, anatomical position or Eastern anatomical position? All right, Eastern. Eastern, so it's up. So it's like, so Eastern is like is, this. So now it's going back, it's going down the young. So, so lateral is? Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm just gonna say this. Okay. It's just in between the fourth and fifth finger. And then feel this point. Here's the source point is right. If you go in between the fourth and fifth finger above the wrist crease, you'll feel a little indentation. Press in. That is the balancing point for triple warmer. Right here, between the fourth and fifth, right above the wrist crease, there's an indentation. See if that's, if you feel a dull ache there. A lot of times you bring the hand back to you like this. You go right into it. If you're not feeling that, bring your hands into the video here. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Everyone feel that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, I'm taking a little survey. Camera person, do you feel that? Not right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you too? Shake the camera. Uh, how about here? Yeah, I yes? feel it. Yes, I always have to drag the information on people. They're so close vested here in Mountain. Venture. Venture. Ah. Venture. Try to get it on her then. And we'll go on. Okay. okay. So now look it. It goes like this. From the source point, it goes right between the radius and the ulna. Does it say something like that? Mm -hmm. Maybe between. So everyone look here. So here, between the radius and the ulna. To the tip of the elbow. To the tip of the elbow. Okay, to the tip of the elbow. Straight down to posterior aspect of the acromion process. Okay, so from here, from the elbow, here, look if you're confused. This is why we're doing this. It goes up and it goes between the medial and posterior deltoid. Right, there's a point right in there. So from here, it goes straight up between the ant between the medial and posterior deltoid. <laughs> okay, that's how you tell. And then it goes over, and it goes right above the superior angle of the scapula, triple warmer 15. So you use the bony landmark there. 
and then it comes straight up and it goes behind the ear this little valley here and it goes right behind the ear where there's no hair growing see this where there's just skin here and it comes around to right in front of the tragus of the ear is this right so far uh, yep. I'm trying to be as authoritative as possible and then from here it goes up to the corner of the eyebrow is this also correct the lateral end of the eyebrow and feel at the lateral end of the eyebrow there's a little feel on yourself oh, yeah. please there's a little indentation that's triple warmer okay so dig this look it starts here it comes down between the fourth and fifth the source point is this little indentation between the fourth and fifth metatarsal it goes between the radius and the ulna right to the elbow from the elbow it goes straight up in between the medial and posterior deltoid. From there, it goes over the shoulder and right above the superior angle of the scapula. Use those bony landmarks. From there, it goes straight up to behind the ear. There's a little valley right behind the ear. That's triple warmer. It circles behind the ear and right in front of the ear, in front of the ear flap, the tragus. From here, it goes up and ends in this little valley here, this little indentation right at the lateral end of the eyebrow. That's the temple. Uh, so look at this, triple warmer here, gallbladder here, so close together. Gallbladder starts here at the outer canister of the eye, triple warmer right here. Okay, so that's two clear young meridians. Use bony landmarks, pretty demystified. So, like when I clenched my jaw, I couldn't feel it as much, but when I relaxed, I could really feel uh, it. This here? Or mm -hmm. this, oh, the, this one. Yeah. And this also, too, this is how you get into these points if you have the person open their mouth. Do that. Push your uh, put your fingertips right in front of your tragus, and then open your mouth, and then push in. You see how you can go in a little further? Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too far in? Sometimes you go and you can't come up. Uh. <laughs> Luckily, this wasn't that one of those times for you. <laughs> Okay, so, next is, uh, yes. Uh, how does the spot behind the ear, um, triple burner 17 or windscreen, differ from the gallbladder meridian wind pool? Because it's Or old. not wind pool, final pool. Okay, so, okay, good. So look, this is triple warmer. Yeah. Uh, this other one is over here. Mm, well, there's two on the gallbladder. So that's one of them. That's, I think that's maybe wind pool, but there's final bone, which is a little closer to the ear, it looks like. Yeah, this one over, that's over here. There's another indentation. It's just a different point. How, how it differs, you mean? The location? Uh, I thought I thought the gallbladder one was just behind the ear, which would, would have been the same as the windscreen. But since we're filming, let's just move on. We'll no, it's, it's a little bit more medial, the gallbladder point. Okay. Uh, there's, I have a book that shows all the points, so we can show you that cool. if you like. So uh, small intestine now is this. Page 11. Page 11. Everyone, page 11, please stay focused on the show. You're doing real good, man. No acting experience. You're doing really, really well. <laughs> You're so calm. You're so calm. Okay, so small intestine meridian starts on the pinky finger. So one thing, uh, remember when the heart meridian ended on the pinky finger? Mm -hmm. Small intestine is the heart's heart mouth. So it's very close. Heart on this, on this side, mm -hmm. small intestine on the arm side. Mm -hmm. So would you read about where the small intestine is, please? Mm -hmm. So starting at the lower medial corner of the nail of the small finger, following the edge of the finger and hand down the, the ulna to the inner tip of the elbow. Okay, so just a second now. That's very good reading. <laughs> so if you do this, take your thumb and go into the side. This is where a small intestine is. And if you're just light pressure into the bone and when you slide off, you'll go right into this little indentation on the side of your hand. That's the source point for small intestine. So it's good for wrist pain, but it's also good for balancing the energy in the small intestine. So if you take your thumb there and you laterally deviate the hand towards your thumb, you'll go right into it. 
small intestine source point. Y'all feel that? I feel two spots. I think it's yeah. this one. Ooh. I feel two spots too. I, feel I like that. Two spots. Yeah. There's two indentations, but I think it's this first one. It's the one in line with the side of the hand. If you roll over, you yeah. don't want to go over too far. It's in line, right in line with the little finger. I'm fall right into it there. Yeah. But then if I go right here, yeah. So this, right. the first one is small intestine. Okay. All right. And then as uh, was read, it follows the, uh, say again about the ulna. Uh, following the edge of the finger and hand down the ulna to the inner tip of the elbow. So, so look at, see, now I want you to turn onto your side. Okay, so look here. It's like this. Here, 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 follows here to the inner tip, which is back in here, this groove. Okay? So is it following the ridge of the ulna, or like just the unilateral tip? The outer edge of the ulna? Outer edge, okay. It's because it'll take you, if you follow that outer edge, it'll take you right to the groove of the elbow. And then from there, mm -hmm. it goes up to the crease of the armpit. Okay, and if you press into just above the crease of the armpit, that small intestine, that's also teres. That's what we were doing yesterday. Okay, small intestine nine and ten. Okay, so the small intestine is responsible for helping release the shoulder. Okay, from here it goes on to, oh, where does it go from above the armpit, Chris? Onto the scapula, yeah. Okay, so first though, it comes down into the uh, onto the uh, scapula, and there's a point called small. This is small intestine nine and ten in the teres, and then it comes onto the scapula. And if you look at it this way, hang on one second. I'm bringing in a stunt double. Uh, no, you stay there. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay, look. Don't be scared. So, um, when it comes on to uh, the scapula, there's a very important point here. It's called small intestine 11. And if you palpate... Um, you okay? Yes. You should be. This is showbiz, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's the spine of the scapula, yes. Small intestine... 11 is directly in line with the inferior angle. So, and it's a third of the way down from the uh, spine of the scapula. There's a little indentation here. Try to find that on a person that uh, palpate on one another. And if you go straight up from the uh, inferior angle towards the spine, about a third of the way down from the spine, there's an indentation. That's small intestine 11. It is intense. So you use that point to help release the scapula. <laughs> okay. Now, pardon me? Okay. Keep going. Okay. So from here, it goes straight up into the uh, fossa, right? Where the supraspinatus is. Is that right, reader? Yep. Okay, so C7 is right here, right? So it's like right here. Between the inferior angle of the jaw and the front of the SCM. So 
here. Okay. Then what? Uh, in the inferior angle of the jaw and in the front of the SM, going straight up to just below the zygomatic arch in line with the outer corner of the eye. So it comes up like this. So here, turn it just a little bit for the camera. So it comes up, here's the zygomatic arch. Here's the outer canthus of the eye. So it comes up in line with the outer canthus of the eye underneath the zygomatic arch. Mm -hmm. uh, and then back to the lower end of the tragus. And then it comes back here. So there's three points in front of this tragus, a gallbladder, a triple warmer, and a small intestine. So like this. It's kind of pretty intricate. Like the, it is, this one is a little bit. Like this, look, just keep watching. Inner tip, follows the armpit crease, goes into the teres, goes back that one point on the scapula, comes above into the fossa, goes too soon lateral of C7, goes up here, comes up there, and goes back here. That's where it ends. That's where it ends. That's where it ends. <laughs> okay? So it comes up all the way first up on top of the scapula.